All right, so I wanted to go over a quick update to the covered strangle strategy. In a previous video a few months ago, and it's a normal way you would do it, is you would buy one contract or 100 shares of stock, and then you sell a call against it, and then sell a put even lower than the strike price. For the MES ES contracts, we're going to be looking to sell the puts first instead of the other way because you save a little bit on commissions. There's one less step to do. So in the first case here, let's say the stock is right here. We're going to be selling a put a little bit lower than the current price and then selling a second put even lower than that price. In the first outcome, let's say that the stock continues to stay above these sold puts. Both of those expire, both of those contracts will expire. You're going to keep both of the premiums and then you end up selling two new puts in the end. And that's a pretty ideal outcome because we made the full premium on both of those contracts. And then you just cycle it in and do that over and over again. The next case though, let's say we started by selling those two puts and then the first put gets assigned, but the second put does not get assigned and it stayed above that second put. For this bottom one here, it's gonna expire worthless and you're gonna keep the full premium on it. However, on the assigned put, we're gonna now have one MES or ES contract. In this case, we're gonna be selling calls against it to bring in income and possibly get out of the contract. Now, in order to sell those calls, if you feel that the market's gonna turn around and get up again, you could sell them a little bit out of the money. You could possibly sell those at a higher strike price than what you were assigned at and get some gains on the actual contract. And then if you're a little bit more conservative, you could sell at the money or in the money. In those cases, you'll be receiving more income in the premiums. Um, you might possibly lose a little bit on the contracts, especially if you're in the money, but it does make it a little bit safer and more conservative because the actual contract could go down a little bit and you could still end up with a profit. You're still going to sell a second or sell one new put here. So essentially own a contract, sell a call and sell one put instead of two puts. And the reason for that is we could take in more income the second time. Now in the third case, let's say you sold those two put contracts and then both of these get assigned. If they both get assigned, then you have two contracts. And when you get two contracts, you're going to have a lower cost basis on the average of the two contracts because we sold one up here and then sold the other one a little bit lower. You just add the two strike prices and then divide by two to get your average. In that case, we're going to be selling two calls against it. And then you notice the average of the two contracts. In these cases, we're usually just trying to get out of the position at slight profit or even possibly break even. The market would have had to drop a decent amount in order to get assigned these two contracts. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and happy trading.